Well, it's that time of year again, and we've released uh, Gartner's annual list of the top 10 strategic technology trends for 2013. This is an ongoing research project that we have, and we're focused on what are the key trends that are going to drive impact and drive change in the enterprise over the next two to three years. Along those veins, there's a number of themes that are returning that we've talked about over the last couple of years. One of them is mobile. So when we take a look at mobile, we've talked in the past about the shift to a mobile-centric world, the advent of media tablets. What's really key this year and moving into next and what will really define the mobile world are the mobile device battles. In particular, with the release of Windows 8, Microsoft is fully engaged uh, in this war in the mobile space, getting out into the tablet space, returning even more to the phone space, extending out into embedded and taking Windows 8 across traditional notebooks and even into the desktop. So the real battle that's, that's brewing is, will Microsoft be able to wrest some degree of control uh, from Apple take some additional market share from Google? Can they take the OEM channel back from Google and be the engine to drive OEMs in their battles in the mobile space? We see a number of interesting things with Windows 8. There's a lot of promise there, but there's many challenges that Microsoft will face as well. So their ability to get solid products out that can meet uh, what's, what exists in the market with a solid user interface that's appealing to consumers and a rich set of applications and content to compete in that consumer space in particular are important. If they can do that and complement what they have with the enterprise capabilities. We'll see some very interesting things for Microsoft. If they can't deliver along those lines, then Microsoft's big bet with Windows 8 may not be as good a bet as they would like. We're going to be watching this, uh, this space closely. Another key area that we've talked about for some time is cloud computing. Now, companies continue to focus on cloud computing in various ways, building out private clouds, looking at how they strategically can consume various external cloud services. All of that's still important, but what's really going to uh, typify 2013 is a shift in focus to hybrid IT and how you secure, manage, and govern hybrid cloud computing environments. So stretching across different types of delivery models, looking at how you bring together applications across those different environments, and positioning then IT as a service broker to the organization. So individuals in the organization come to IT, they act as a broker of services from inside or outside the organization, and look at bringing those together in a controlled, managed, and secure fashion. It's all about hybrid IT, and by extension, IT as a broker and the support of new cloud management platforms to make all of this happen. There's some new things on the list as well. One important one is personal cloud, which actually looks at the nexus of forces and brings together things in the cloud computing and the mobile world. We're moving from the world of personal computing into the world of personal cloud. So it's not about the individual device, it's about a number of different devices. It's about a shift of the computing model to the services being delivered from the cloud across those various devices. Uh, so it's a different way of users consuming things and it brings the mobile side in in a very rich way. So this is going to define the next five to ten years uh, in what the end user computing is all about. It'll change user interfaces, it'll change the nature of applications, and so seeing how Microsoft and Apple and others address this with a variety of services and not just what's happening down on the, uh, the client device is important. And in this personal cloud and mobile world, it's going to be a battle of the vendor ecosystems. One of the other things then that comes into play is the idea of ecosystems. So on, uh, one of the items we have on the list is integrated platforms and ecosystems. In IT, we've had this eternal pendulum between tightly integrated systems and more individual, best of breed, heterogeneous systems. And that pendulum has continued to swing back and forth. We're in a swing right now towards more integrated systems. We see that in the advent and the in, uh, increased use of appliances, bringing together hardware, software, and applications around particular use cases. We're going to see that continue with both virtual appliances and physical appliances and hybrid appliance models that are intended to drive simplification in your IT environment, drive performance, drive down simplifica uh, simplification. We think that has to be balanced uh, with the vendor lock-in, which inevitably occurs 
occurs when you have more tight integration. But that's a space that will continue to evolve and we're watching closely. Second is looking at cloud and it's about cloud platforms and cloud marketplaces and cloud brokerage. So we're going to see a big focus over the next two years of vendors that are going to say, we will be your cloud marketplace. Come here and we can provide a range of cloud services. We can provide brokerage and integration mechanisms to simplify the consumption. Uh, and so it's about uh, vendors such as Microsoft and IBM and possibly the HPs and others of the world delivering those ecosystems. We see most of the telecom, on, telecom uh, providers looking at this as well as many systems integrators. So the battle of the ecosystems in the cloud is here. And back to that mobile world, as I said, it's the battle of the ecosystems. In terms of the integrated model, it's how you're bringing together uh, client devices through a managed delivery of applications and a set of services that will support that in the personal cloud. You see that clearly with Apple's approach. And to some extent, that's what Microsoft has with Surface uh, as their controlled target uh, client tablet device. And they have a uh, ecosystem of applications with more control being delivered down to that device. Although, of course, in, in Microsoft's instance, it also includes a variety of OEM devices and it's a somewhat of a looser ecosystem. So the battle here will be how tightly controlled, how open, and what are the potential values. But in all of these areas, the trend is towards how do I deliver simplified, targeted, and secure systems to users.